Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This is your morning musings for March. March. That's take two. Good morning, everybody. This is Mystic Jen, and welcome to your morning musing for May 16th. I lose track of dates. Yeah, May 16th, 2023. Hope everybody's doing fabulous this wonderful morning. Let's see what your messages are, what we got going on. By the way, I am still figuring it out. It's probably going to have to be on Patreon for now. I'm looking at some other options. Vimeo, which is a little bit pricey. And a couple other options for potential for doing extended readings. The morning musings probably will not have extended readings. Just the ones like the Zodiac readings. Just so that you are aware. And next week, next Sunday, at, uh, I think I have a schedule for 1 p.m. Eastern Time, I am hosting a uh, past life meditation where I go dig into a past life that you were meant to learn from that is affecting you today. If you want to partake in that, you can reserve your spot uh, at my website at mysticgen.com. Go down to the where the services are, click on events, and you will see that. Okay. Let's see what your morning message is. Take what resonates, leave the rest, just to see what it is. And I should have got one of my little card holders here. And let's see what your message is. From Spirit, Eagle Spirit, about something about freedom. Um... Do I have a card holder here? Do I have a card holder? Please tell me that I do. Um, I'm prepared for this. Unprepared. As usual, unprepared. Um, okay, we're not going to worry about it this morning. I know I've got one somewhere. We're just going to go with it. If I don't see a card reader that I can... See right off the top of my head. Nope, I used to have one over here. Okay. No card holder. Card holder. Anyhow, it's a, your card this morning is about freedom. Having a sense of freedom, free from oppression, free from negative thoughts. Um, maybe a little bit of an escape. Free from things that bind us. And it is a number 13, a number of death. Okay. Death is endings, new beginnings, transformation, things of that nature. So you may have been getting, gaining some freedom through some sort of ending. Okay. Let's see what our daily cards are. Okay, show me the energy for today, please. Show me the energy. Show me the energy. Okay, the central issue, central card. Oh, yeah, we got devil. The good old Diablo. Good old Diablo right there. That's what we're talking about. Freedom from those negative thoughts. Things that are binding us. I can't make this up, honey. This is freedom from things that have us bound. Okay. Things that aren't healthy for us. Things are, are binding us and keeping us from moving forward. And I should have moved my phone out of the way. Sorry. But that's okay. And then we've got the moon. <sighs> oh, this is some heavy energy. Anybody want to take over here? You know, do a clarifier? Want to deliver this message? That's things that are hidden there. Um, this could be an, a secret addiction for some. I just got to put it out there. I know not a favorite message. But those that you know what I'm talking about, it doesn't have to be illegal addictions it could be even food you know whatever bring, brings you comfort 
that it, it's like a closet eater or something like that okay but there is something here that's got you chained it's got you chained and it's about breaking free ah ace of cups how sweet okay so it all ends well but this is like about freedom to take the next step towards new love let's see what the underlying energy is just for the hell of it five of wands okay so <clears throat> we've got this five of wands energy it's a struggle this might be something that you have been trying to get rid of something that you have been struggling with you know we all everybody has struggles every you know I'm not here to judge okay not here to judge you you know shit happens so we get caught up in negativity for some of you this is like I have to put it out there because fear is telling me I'm seeing it it's like an uh, could be an obsession or an addiction to a person even um, there are scenes what the energy that you're you're entering in this reading with is a five of wands underlying energy it's struggling you're battling you're trying to battle something and what are you battling you're battling the devil whatever that devil energy is to you an addiction negative thoughts um, negative relationship but we're going to take a look at this five of wands show me the five of wands two of cups two of swords and unseen energy is the queen of wands holy f bomb okay this is what's behind the scenes that you may not be aware of is a queen of wands a queen of wands is somebody who's very ambitious, very courageous, very, um, uh, what's the word for it? And very, I'm trying to think of the word, I apologize, this happens sometimes. And I hate it when it happens, but it's something neurological. Um confident dealing with, some, with somebody who's very confident she knows what she wants she sets her eyes on it she's very intuitive very creative and yes very attractive can she actually be a temptation yes okay so whether this you are in a relationship that with somebody who may have a little piece of something something on the side because we got the two cups here and what's smashed in between it i don't want to look at it no 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 it's not happening it's it's no we have such a great relationship you know we've got the ace of cups here we have such a good relationship this cannot be possible so there is a sense of denial about something not wanting to look at it not wanting to acknowledge it and the universe is saying, uh, I'm calling bullshit on this. Yep, you gotta, you gotta look at it. And almost like forcing it on you. Now, that's the energy you're coming in with. Your cur the current situation is the devil. And with the moon, liar, liar, pants on fire. Okay. And a lot of, again, Denial. Denial may even be from your other person. No, sweetheart, you're my love of my life. You're the only one. And yes, I am in a very sarcastic mood today because the energy here. It's like I want to just pop somebody in the head. It's like, wake up. You know, what the F are you doing? You're effing up something beautiful for a piece of trash. I don't, there was another word in there that I'm not going to say it because I don't want to offend anybody, but it's almost like 
there's a home wrecker in the camp that you may not be aware of, or you may be aware of it, but you just don't want to see it or acknowledge it. Because you have your two of cups here. you got your ace of cups here. You know, but the under energy is, is, and the the, um, the five of wands is coming in saying that your energy is coming in as I'm in competition with a queen of wands. Okay, let's look at this moon energy. Four of swords. Emperor and under the deck. King of Swords. <clears throat> oh, you got somebody who's extra. This is somebody very, very headstrong. Somebody who is large and in charge. Okay. Who. I hate to see the King of Swords with the Emperor in, the, in this type of reading. Because the Screams Narcissist. Um. I think we had narcissist energy for the 14th as well. You know, so there's some, there could be some carryover. And somebody is sleeping on it. This could also be you trying to make some kind of declarative decision and laying down some kind of boundaries that might need to be laid down. But the emperor is large and in charge, and the king of swords knows it. The king of, king of swords expresses it in a way, maybe not in a very diplomatic way, and, and this is modifying the moon. What's under the moon? You know, this is a sleeping energy. This is a contemplation energy. Somebody's contemplating some kind of move uh, with the intention to hide. Somebody sleeping around because I keep see, uh, I know this is contemplation and the private thoughts, etc. But if you look, I'm being drawn to the three swords up here, almost like three of swords energy, third party energy. And so it's like, my God, you're saying somebody sleeping with somebody else behind the scenes, behind the moon, very much hidden. But the moon energy is also one of things cannot stay hidden forever. They eventually surface and come up. And I think that somebody here needs to prepare themselves for that. Okay, show me this devil energy. Huh, more secrets. It's behind a veil. This is shit that's going on behind a veil. Because we got the high priestess. And the king of wands. And the hierophant. Holy effing shit. F bomb. Okay. What does it say? High Priestess is hiding a King of Wands. And it's like there's secrets within a commitment. The King of Wands is somebody who... It's almost like pretending to be committed. But not because it's... What is it modifying? The Devil. Okay. The Devil is doing his work behind the Veil. What's going on behind the Veil? We have the King of Wands and the Hierophant. And if you look, the King of Wands back is to the Hierophant. To ignoring the commitment here and doing his own thing. We have a cheater. I'm sorry to say this. We have a cheater. And uh, take what resonates. Whoever's watching it probably already knows this. Now, let's go back to this card. Okay? You know that Eagle Spirit... That freedom, freeing yourself from somebody who thinks the shit don't sink, who thinks that they could do whatever the F-bomb they want. No, 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 no. I don't play by those rules, and neither should you. You know, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. But I think they would argue that point. They would definitely argue that point. And speaking of arguments... You've got somebody, I think, here is arguing the point that's, and denial. Like I said, no, how dare you accuse me of that? You must be doing it yourself because you're accusing me. Sometimes that is the case. Or maybe they are accusing you of cheating when it's them. Comment below. 
But there's some somebody's doing some hanky panky behind the scenes. There is hanky panky behind the scenes. Show me the ace of cups. Okay. Moving forward though, we have an ace of cups, a new beginning. Go from the ace to the ten. Okay. So and then we've got the page of cups. An opening. Opening up the heart space. New communication. Something new. Um, learning from your experience. Knight of Wands. He's my player. Okay, the player coming. Okay, this is what's going to happen, honey. You're going to break free. You're going to exit stage left. That's your right, my left. Your left. Ex ex exit stage left. Right? And then, as you're making your exit, oh, honey, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do what I did. The devil made me do it. Like the dog ate my homework. Okay? That apology coming forth. Then rushing in. Okay? but not changing their ways and professing their love for you and how much they want their ten of cups again. We're a happy family. I, I F-bombed up. Okay? Um, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. And you know what, honey? I don't feel good about their intentions, but you know what? I said I wasn't going to do any extended on the daily. I'm going to do one on this one. So, before I upload this one, I'm going to record the extended and take this a step further and check into this Knight of Wands. We are going to use him as the center. What the F is up with him? How, what is he, how does he view you and the connection? How does he view the connection? How does he feel about you? What are his intentions? So, I will leave a link in the description box for the extended. Um, I will let you know one way or another if it's going to be on Patreon or on my membership side. Might even be on my membership. Okay. I'll leave that information below. And I will see you over there.